Smart War Games here. Today we will cover the WinSP games consisting of WinSP World War II and WinSP MBT. The names are cryptical, but um, these two games are turn based um, ground war simulations, tactical games, um, similar to Combat Mission. A lot of you guys um, that watch my channel are playing Combat Mission. It's a very similar game, just turn based. And it has differences. It is maybe not so f high in fidelity like a Combat Mission, but it has other advantages. And it's, an, it's one of the best war games I've played. It I discovered it one year ago and I was su surprised that I didn't discover it um, before that. So um, my channel is dedicated to the best war games and to some other games and mods and especially to games and mods that uh, what I think deserve more attention. So this is a, a prime example for that. I'm pretty good at finding stuff, finding good games, but um, it took me quite a while to find this. <clears throat> like Combat Mission or Close Combat, WinSP also has a long history. I don't know much about it, but I found this site here, Alternate Wars. It's about Steel Panthers. Um, SP stands for Steel Panthers. Steel Panthers. And yeah, you can read some about the history. There are some older versions available. available. And also, um, you will find uh, a bit complicated to install mod. Um, das Reich mod for Win is PMBT. It is pretty much a total conversion for two for the Germans and, and another um, faction. Converting them. Ah, everything is here described. It basically um, is a hypothetical scenario where World War II Germany is believed to either win the war or to, um, sustain, uh, to, to survive longer than 45. And you get a lot of new vehicles, um, concept vehicles um, that the German developed back then but didn't manage to produce like this E100 and whatever tanks they had in mind. You will also find a lot of post post-war historical vehicles that were developed for for the for the German army. And also a lot of fictional but believable vehicles and weapon systems that um, will get used there and one covers the um, one OOB, Order of Battle, covers the standing army and one is um, for, for, for a mobile quick reaction force, expeditionary force like the marines. Um, yeah, like being a, 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 a standalone OOB. It's worth to check out if you're interested in this. Um, I will first do an, an check and review about WinSP World War II and we then will proceed to WinSP MBT which covers the modern history and also the future history uh, modern warfare. Okay and one important thing this game the base version of this game was uh, I think uh, all scenarios and campaigns is free you can download it right away at the end show you the, 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 the pages and play it right along and there are some features like um, a bigger resolution for modern modern monitors and some additional features that are exclusive to the to the purchase edition. I think they are worth it, especially if you um, if you like this game, but see for yourself. You can check it out for yourself right away. Okay, settings look good. Um, there are a lot of tools you can 
can calculate slow armor slope armor penetration so for people who like to dig into the stuff this game comes with a lot of tools and we will start away uh, I discovered uh, back then I didn't have this problem but um, recently um, my game and doesn't start on full screen so I use a tool named borderless gaming there you can add the applications and when you launch it it will automatically put it into full screen without seeing your taskbar so you can immerse yourself into the game yeah <clears throat> Both games, WinSP, World War II and MBT, they received um, recent updates. They are in active development and both have got a 2019 big update. And it is also doesn't look like they want to quit or something. They will keep the game updating. And yeah, that's quite, a, quite great. They add a lot of campaign scenarios, also some features and bug fixes it's in they keep working on it the screen and the graphics of the game like you already can see from the screen it looks a bit dated it isn't a graphic bombast um, that's to, that's for that's for sure but um, we also value gameplay over graphics or at least at least me but i'm pretty sure many of you do also it's okay it would be of course cool if the screen could be bigger especially for the reading um, it also has probably to do something with the resolution i'm, I'm i said and the original game engine isn't isn't uh, made for this but however it's okay for me we are right now at the scenario screen and what this game is excelling one of the really uh, if you're looking for value for your money <clears throat> even if the base edition is for free but if you're looking for value for your money i think there's no other game that comes with so such a vast amount of content of scenarios ob's and uh, ob's order of battles um, units factions and i will i will scroll through the scenarios and you can see for yourself how many there are in the base game. You can download uh, a lot more. But yeah, if you're on a, on a lonely island and you decide to take this game with you and to really complete everything the game has to offer, so you may die beforehand, before you manage this. Yeah, there are some empty slots. But you can see it's... you have... 774 single scenarios alone then you have campaigns covering everything you want to play china china is uh, the uh, yeah chinese japanese war that was also part, a big part of world war ii didn't get much coverage you want to play this it is here band of brothers based on the book a campaign it's in here. All fronts, Iwo Jima, Pacific, Stalingrad, Norway, even France, also not often covered, the early, um, the, the, the first years of World War II, po Poland, France, everything is in here. Sweden, everything is here. You, the game starts not just from the beginning of World War II, but even earlier. And one thing I know a lot of you really like is you can generate a campaign. You can generate a campaign, um, set how many battles you have, who is opposing who, set your start and dates, and you will given a core force which you can pu purchase yourself. You can um, equip them and you can also play, uh, buy support every mission. It's, it's your settings, you can set up how you want. You can also give the AI um, more. You can set who is the attacker, who is the defender, or if it's even. And it's absurd. You can 
you can uh, I, I'm not I'm not a big fan of dynamic campaigns I prefer narrative I always like to play games with campaigns for sure I don't also I'm not a fan of single scenarios because they are so out of context for me I love campaigns um, where you have uh, some story some operation going on and you follow it especially if you have perhaps um, some individuals you know um, you can follow um, in your story you can take care of um, there are also some campaigns um, here with some story elements and and uh, character elements in it <clears throat> so there is so uh, there's something for both worlds but if you, I know a lot a lot uh, big fans of dynamic campaigns setting up your own own campaigns you can do this yeah? and you can set up a start date and set I don't know if, if you want you can play a campaign for your whole life and play 191 battles the maps will change you can also self, self um, on your own define what what map you want to play Ah, interesting. Okay, yeah, that's historical. Okay, interesting. Yes, about the OBs, let's check them out. Um, wait. Yes, you can also play. Um, what's that? Email, play by email. Um, never, never checked out what's what's the short. Uh, what's the uh, what's 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 PBM means. But it's you. Most of you know. It's um, you can play by email and you send you you dude so, uh, your game and he plays he plays his turn and sends you back etc. Uh, but you also I think you can also play a hot seat this game should also be possible I never test this out but I think you can also play on one PC and um, switch seats whatever. You have an encyclopedia, we will check out after that. An editor for doing your own maps and, and battles and campaigns probably. Yeah, let's go for a battle. Visibility, okay, we leave all this. It's just for showing you guys what's in it. And you see, you can start, the game starts 1930, so it's pre-World War II. Germany has, um, is still, has an another flag. And they tried to include all units from 30, probably post-World War I or even World War I weapons and vehicles, up to 46. That's the limit of VinSP, the current limit of VinSP World War II. Like I said, there, um, there is VinSP MBT. MBT starts from 46 and goes up to 20,000, uh, no, 2025. So uh, a bit into the future. That's the current limit. Perhaps they will expand the limit when, um, when time goes on. Yeah, you have some for for training scenarios. You have this classic red versus blue force, but versus green force. But if you look at the flags, I will change it for a year. They even change the the flags because um, historically nations change nations um, change their 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 governments, their um, existence changed and uh, and so on. <coughs> As you see here, it's, it's I think it's with she force because France is occupied during that time and you see there are so many nations in it you can play you can play also the, 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 the Spanish war and let's check out one let's say what's, what's so interesting France, let's check out France and give us a good amount of points but we will just check it out, don't, don't play it ok, 
Okay, there's the open end. You can create everything from platoon squad size scenarios up to, I don't know, battalion or even, perhaps even, yeah, battalion, division, I don't know. Um, but I think uh, bigger scenarios I don't play, I also don't like um, playing bigger scenarios in combat mission because it gets tedious and the micromanagement gets tedious and um, same as here, you have to command every unit <coughs> but there are people who, who love this, who love to spend, I don't know, an hour for every turn and yeah, why not. So we start and then you can buy your force. I have also a colored picture mod installed, you can find it on the forums. And you see there are already some pre-World War II vehicles. You have a lot of infantry and if you select the infantry you can often also select how you want to equip them or how you want to, um, to have the layout of the company or of the platoon. And um, you have different sizes, you can buy sections, you can buy pla platoons, companies, etc. Um, and we, we have 10,000 points available, available and if you buy, I don't know, the, the Alpine infantry, the mountain, mountain infantry, yeah, you can delete them again and whatever. We have infantry. Support weapons. I, I'm not a Fr French expert on weapon systems, but you see the weapons, and we can check the unit data. What is this for a weapon? FM14. Okay, a machine gun. And this also shows you that this game has some depth to it. There are ranges, and um, the ranges um, they influence the accuracy of course but also the the the, the, the penetration values the um, damage values and heat is of course uh, AP heat um, penetration of course it's not given by this weapon here but by some tank weapons or and here we have armor already checked this out. Of course there's not much armor in that in the time period. Artillery, you have so many weapon systems. I mean look if you if you're into French weapons you give me another game where you can find weapon systems for French 9030. And uh, aircraft are also included as support weapons. I think you even see them on the map flying so they can also be taken down. Okay, alleys. You can set up your alleys so you can, for example, design, um, I don't know, French, a French campaign using British vehicles or vice versa. Here, yeah, go back. Let's check another one out. 40, 39. What do we have here? Ch China, for example, is, isn't much often covered. Nationalist China, Chinese co communists. You can also just check out. And you have some tanks, infantry, a lot of formations. It's it's a dream. It's what you have in every formation. There is data, uh, subunits. The OOBs are. Uh, gigantic. So check out a classic one. Uh, let's take the, 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 the Americans 40. Let's take it to end war. What have they to offer? Okay, I've did now. You can do hypothetical scenarios. Play a um, post World War II gone hot into cold. No, it's not a cold war. Gone into a 
uh, Soviet versus US war and whatever. You can do everything. There's no limitation to this. Okay, and you here are the, the unit names, but if you check into them, you can see we have different tanks here. M5, M24. They always try to stay historical, so for example, older tanks of the Americans who got phased out um, around 45, they are not accessible anymore. Otherwise, you would have a list of million vehicles, it would be. But you can edit it yourself. There's also, I think, an OOB editor. So if you want to play, with, I don't know for for reasons, with a specific World War One post World War One vehicle in forty five, you can likely edit it into it. And the weapons of the of the vehicles, they are also try to present them correctly, even with gun name, and. Everything has their own values. Also, the armor is different on every side. Here you have a small picture. The units look like this. It's um, pretty beauty for what's uh, for sprite art. I think it's sprites and rate of fire, vision, fire control. If you move your unit, it loses fire control and and the the defense values. Everything is is showed here. Three pages of infantry formations. Everything is in there. Glider bazooka, glider inf infantry, artillery. Three pages of artillery uh, and support vehicles. It is crazy. I mean, you could spend. If you had one game, like I said, you can sp could spend decades probably in this game. And there are people who are playing this since, like there are also people in combat mission who play combat mission solely for, I don't know, for, I don't know, one, one was the first combat mission released in the 90s somewhere, uh, at the millennium. Yeah, we already checked this out. Terrier, okay. You have um, also amphibious operational possible. Yeah, there are even um, engineer tanks. I didn't do much engineer engineer stuff into this game, but there are um, there are um, bulldozer tanks. I don't know. Perhaps they have some function. Perhaps they can recover vehicles, mine clear vehicles. Every truck you ever seen, even a. Got them camel mule. Sorry, mule mule. I don't want you to call you a camel. What the hell is this? A granite, a mule, granite mule. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. There's some guys with it. Yeah, mule group. You know, in the desert, a mule is quite handy. Or uh, in the in the mountains or elsewhere. You also have animals in this game. Yeah? <laughs> that, that, tell me a game that is um, that has um, mules in it. Um, I'm sure there are some, but you see it's insane. So okay, let's check out the, the, the Soviets for 40, 46, what they have to offer. Late game, late war. I like I like the late war stuff, but I also like early war. Like tanks, T seventies, T eighties. Okay, classic classic tanks, T thirty four, T forty four. Okay, is that uh, what is that? Even with description, I didn't knew that there is a uh, room for description. Now we knew it. Now we know it. Fifty to two hundred T forty fours. Okay. You see something learned. I didn't know that that I that um, a 
T44 existed in active service looks like a pretty modern tank. Flame tanks. And I will do a battle, but I wanted to start a new campaign. Probably not suited for me because it, the briefing describes it as a hard campaign and I have zero experience with this game, but I like challenges and um, I think it's pretty authentic. It's a German campaign. I'm in late war stage. I want to try it out definitely. And I like to be in the in the in, to play against against bad odds. It's I like the challenge. So what do you have? Uh, okay, artillery, two pages of artillery, katyushas, everything you need for your artillery fix. What's this dude? What's that? Prototype tank, Su one hundred two. Never saw this tank, but now I know it. So you also have some prototype tanks um, included, which is also cool. Here, Schwimmwagen. I know a lot of you like love Schwimmwagen. Duck V. Uh, I thought it's a German vehicle, but who knows? Perhaps they sold it as to the Soviets. So if you are a Schwimmwagen fetishist, you will find your 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 fix here. Also some horses, ever always good. And what I didn't show you, because it's not part of the core force, I think. Let's buy something for testing. Um, a lot of the weapon systems, they are not, not available for your core force. You will perhaps better look into the... Uh, but that's a bit difficult, okay. Sort by... What I wanted to show you is um, there are a lot of aircraft, but the aircrafts they are not part of the core force. So let's check out the Americans, we already the Germans. 46. And I think you can buy, I, I don't know how much support points I set up, but okay, let's check out the beautiful tanks. I think the pictures are beautiful. I, a lot of the um, standard pictures are black and white. They are also beautiful, but these here are especially beautiful because they show a good uh, silhouette, a good shot. What's that? Never seen. UA630. Pack. Okay. And Panzergruppe, you see the Germans have absurd amounts of tanks. Panther G, Uhu. Uhu, I think he has something on that, that was this tank with the. Experimental sites, I think. I don't know. Yeah, the, the, you have a formation, for example, heavy tanks, and then you can go into it and can select the tank. Where are the heavy tanks? Panzer 2, Panzer Company. Schwere Panzergruppe. That's a heavy tanks. Panther 2, Panther 2. Okay, they definitely have a lot of experimental vehicles. Tiger B, King Tiger as known. Three pages alone of tanks. You have captured tanks, T 41st. The Germans pressed a lot of captured tanks into service as um, they always lacked tank uh, armored force to. To um, satisfy their, their their needs, so they press a lot of French vehicles, Russian vehicles into into service. Uh, the others did too. So, so the German vehicles were in captured service. Minenräumzug, Pioniere, everything available. Jagd Tiger. Infantry, six pages of infantry formations. 
you can really it but it also isn't that you may think oh god i what i what i need you know there are standard things like mo um, motorized um armored infantry you don't need to spend years to check everything out but um you can also go with something you know for example motorized and what are, what do you need do you need a company do you need a platoon do you need an enforced company i don't know what the what the uh, asterisk means perhaps it's okay um airborne troops mountain mountain troops um I don't know folks folks grenadier that that was the late war troops that were pressed into uh, German service this is not the best training um you can call them militia I don't know this. Um, they were still trained and but they didn't had the the training or the experience of the standing of the of the early army or of the professional army pioneers mechanized infantry okay um let's buy a formation uh, let's buy a panzer gruppe i oh, know that's a small one panzer company and proceed because I want to show you this the, the support tab artillery you have everything here I think uh, every vehicle that ever made it into German service is probably presented here or the most at least okay done mm. okay do, do I need to set up um, support points not sure then air sorties okay perhaps that's the reason let's set this up there are a lot of planes i just wanted to show you the planes i'm like i said i'm not um, doing much of this um, dynamic battles or campaigns what the hell was this max points Ah, you can set up max. Okay, sixty-four thousand. And a Panzer uh, company is worth two hundred. I don't know what's the limitation of the engine, but you can try out how many Panzer companies you can, um, uh, Panzer platoons you can place. Okay, um, RT under command. Yeah, you can also d d decide if your RT is firing. I don't know AI controlled. I think or. Um, I, I'm not very experienced it, but um, the artillery system in the game is similar to combat mission. You can't um, call, uh, in, the, in the default setting, you can't call artillery like God uh, onto, onto a place on the map. But you need a spotter and um, they take time and dedicated people or some are even not, not, not um, authorized to do it like combat mission. Um, it can be it's a further challenge, but I think you can set it. View map. Yeah, before before deployment, you can also view the map and the mission data. We, but um, I want to buy some planes. Uh, it's definitely possible, but I'm. Um, okay, how to deploy? Hmm. Yeah, that's that's the map graphics. There. They are functional. Um, no, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, let's start the turn and quit the game. Well, then let's go in the, in the encyclopedia and sh sort unit class. Ah, here. Okay, we have ground forces. I think I need to click on the pictures. Oh, okay. And worth a try. Show all units. No. Okay, I 
can set this here. Sort on unit class, show all units. Ah, okay. Now let's show all unit and sort for all unit class. Ah, here. Yeah. Mm. Mess clicked. Yeah, um, I see some planes here, um, you can check it out for yourself, but they are in here and there are a lot of them for all factions. You have bombers, you have um, tactical bombers, you have um, in, you have um, combat air support, close interdiction, scout vehicles, uh, scout airplanes, stukas, um, dive bombers, in a lot of versions. See, that's just the planes, and it's not, not. And you have transport planes. You can, uh, the game is also modeling airborne operations. You can drop parachute, uh, drop airborne troops. And this is just Germany. We scrolling. Uh, you can set it by country. That's good. <laughs> Even have different pillboxes. Take a look at this list. I don't know how many pages are coming. It's absurd. Is this just Germany? I need to take my, my coffee. Uh, to, uh, 10 versions of the BF 110. And dozen, dozen versions of the Stuka. We're still in Germany with uh, on on the German OOB. It's absurd. I don't know if we're going through. No, it's just, it's not the it's not repeating itself. Infantry gruppen. In different, uh, it's you see a lot of entries that are the same, but um, they are um, different time periods. You know, they change their formations. They try to model everything from squad size to weapon, weapon um, to equipment used. You see, the weapons are changing. Um, in the later war, they are probably using uh, Sturmgewehr at uh, assault rifles. You even had police. Yeah, let's do uh, some battle tutorial scenario. Okay. But let's check out my campaign. What was the name of it? And I won't play it, but I will. You can. Um, use this as additional review. You of course want to say how the game uh, to see how the gameplay is 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 um, going, and I will do a first playthrough of uh, of the first mission of this campaign I mentioned. And I'm I'm not an expert. If you want to see how people are good at this game, I'm pretty sure there are content, other other streamers that that are better in this game, but. I will try my best. So, there is a campaign. What was the name again? Kampfgruppe Weber. Mm -hmm. This is a hard campaign. Perfectly. Yeah. About um, mechanized infantry and tanks. And it's um, one company mechanized, two platoons tanks. That's a good, good size. It's not too big, but it's um, it's manageable. But I, I like it if you have to keep a small force intact and to get um, your job done with them 
and try not to lose many of them instead of getting um, t thousands of units and into a big uh, slaughterhouse. Okay, let's start it. And as you see, that's that's exactly my style. That's the reason why I chose this campaign. You have people um, here, um, Captain Weber, Hauptmann Weber, and it's written like a novel, and I love this. That's that's for me the my golden standard. There are also some campaigns in combat mission. I think my favorite. Yeah, there's one classic. It's called where the Poppy fields, the fields where the poppies grow. Uh, this one is pretty good. It's a pretty good um, campaign for beginners, as it covers, I think, the um, early operations of the D-Day um, airborne landings. But I'm not sure. Uh, it's a long ago I played it. But there's also a Russian one, uh, a combat mission Red Thunder one, where you play also the Germans, similar to this here. Late, late war and you play mechanized infantry and it's also a story where you, you, you get some um, how, it, how difficult it was for the commanders you know imagine you're a commander and uh, we see, always we see in movies the success stories and the, the heroes and um, whatever or you play in video games the I don't know the, the of the um, Normandy the offensive of the the, the alleys everything is cool but um, what must do it to your mind if you have to command a force in a war that is um, lost, that is absolutely lost, you know, the, I think from 33 onwards um, after the failed um, offensives of the German, it was everybody in the, in the army who wasn't completely out of his mind um, knew that the war was lost and they still continued to 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 fight uh, had to continue to fight and to to die and it must be and this campaign this uh, red thunder campaign covered some of this aspect how it um, how difficult it was for the commanders there to um, cope with this fact the stress and how to keep them their own motivation but also the motivation of the man intact and i like this this it's a, a, another challenging fact um to how to to get an idea of how um, the commanders had what challenges they had not just play a game and uh, who do I uh, drive some tanks around the map but to imagine that you are so responsible for people and responsible for and that the operation for the operation etc. So okay. I won't read this. I want. I will read this in, in my in my dedicated playthrough. But perhaps I, had, I should have read it. Yeah, you have a given. T um, there are campaigns, also narrative campaigns, where you can choose your own force. But the most campaigns strive for realism because the player, most players, would purchase stuff they like, like in combat mission, people would purchase. I don't know <laughs> if given free hand, you of course had some. Uh, jokers who would put purchase I don't know 1,000 javelins or um, 20 M1 Abram, Abrams tanks because these are so strong weapons um, weapons weapon systems but in uh, most campaigns you're given um, a pre outfit yeah and you can see we have some half tracks we have infantry MG42s and a lot of even a Panzerkampfwagen 1? Really? That's cool. 1. Can I see it? No. Panzerkampfwagen 1, 44. Okay, I didn't know that it still was in service there. And okay, mechanized infantry. But um, a lot of the campaigns allow you to purchase your own support, support force. It's not your core force. So these guys here, like combat mission campaigns, it's a similar set setup. That's and I lo I love this campaign setup. You have a campaign tree, linear missions. What well, uh, linear? Um, you have paths. So if you lose or win a battle, the path may change. 
and you have a core force which may get the uh, reinforcements, uh, get ammunition, it's the same here. Uh, for me this campaign standard is, is the golden middle. Like I said, dynamic campaigns, they feel so, so random, so fight and friends, have fun. Of course you can do your own story for it, but I like if you are presented a story, it's like a bit, uh, reading a book, following a, a movie and you, you are an actor and participant of this. And you're given your core force yeah, and you will know this guy, so you will know, perhaps start to, 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 take, uh, to care for your Panzer Force, for your Panthers. The mission mentions, uh, the campaign mentions the, the, the Panthers are extremely important because they back uh, the biggest anti-armor firepower, I, I guess. And if you lose, one or lose them, um, you will have issues. They are pretty strong, even in 44. The Panzer IV was already somewhat obsolete, uh, but the Panther was still on top, as the Allies didn't have much of the um, of the big punch Shermans, the Easy Eights, and and I think Pershings weren't were very scarce. So the Panther was still a formidable tank and feared back then, in uh, in forty four. I sent you your you, you units, so let's press done, Ellis. Okay, now we won't change this. I don't think we are supposed to do this. Okay, we don't have a support force, um, but I know. Do you really want to end the game? Does it end the game completely? It sounds like so. Um, let's do some. Okay, yeah, saving. But we can check out the campaign, okay? Uh, I think it's more core event if we do this um, view, also in this review, so I don't have to talk a lot about it in, in, the, in the mission. So that's your main view here. Um, one big advantage of the higher resolution is you see more. I think um, if uh, some may say I want to see more units, yeah, of course, a uh, lower resolution, you see your units better. But I like the, four, uh, the HD resolution. I hate if you have small map out uh, map um, views and you need to scroll around like crazy. Here you see our units. If we are now in deploy mode. And the black line here describes our deployment zone. And you see these points are taken by the, by the Americans. Um, we, uh, pro we are likely starting a counter-offensive again in the hope we can uh, in the uh, command in, in the hope uh, in the in command's hope that we can um, turn the, the wars tight and here are our vehicles and I think they look the sprites look beautiful you see you see some camouflage sure if we could zoom in I don't know is there some zoom button oh wait ah you see yeah, I think the sprites look pretty, you know, uh, they look pretty neat. There's some, um, what how can you say, there's some, some re, um, it's again trendy, it's again yeah, in becoming trend to do these games with this sprite graphics and, and because it's, it's timeless, you know, if it's looking okay, you can also play it uh, Anno 3000, I mean, it's a lot of your fantasy is adding a lot and you don't need i don't know crisis graphics or uh unreal news newest unreal engine to do a good war game and if you and it can even hind, hinder your game i believe that good graphic engines are one of the main reason why um the newest triple a games um are struggling a bit because if you have a higher graphic standards, a higher detail standard, you need to invest a lot of more time into every aspect of your content. Imagine this game having a having a armor-free engine. You would need to, to model every of this tank. Every we, we, this game has I don't know what ten thousand units. You would have to need to model every of these units into a somewhat um, representable state. And this is impossible. Nobody would have the time. And people would like to 
people, many people like me, they would prefer to have a lot of different units and play Chinese and Japanese and uh, pre-war France. But um, if you had a super graphic engines, they would say, no, sorry, we go for the usual American OOB because a lot of the guys prefer Americans and the Germans and the British and the rest, sorry, there's not much demand for it. But games like this, the sprite obviously ta doesn't take the time. But it doesn't mean that the detail is low in this game. Yeah, they care, they, they, the, the devs and the designers, they care for the units. You can check here the unit data. Um, and similar to combat mission, you have the people have names, the, the soldiers have names, I love it. You can even change the leader name. I am one of those um, half-truck drivers. <laughs> Let's do it in the campaign. I will become one, one, one soldier and uh, we see if I survive the war um, to, to see my wife again. I guess not. Probably first casualty uh, in the war, in, in, the, in the operation. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. I would love this um, for combat mission, if you could name your units. Um, I like to play with this, that I'm, I, uh, that I'm that I'm myself on the battlefield and I even wanted to make, um, what can you call it, permadeath playthroughs where in combat mission I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm a tank guy or I'm, I'm, I'm the commander and I like to go, I like to lead from the front. I like to lead from the front line, you know, I'm not, I'm not the guy who's sitting um, five kilometers back with his binoculars and saying, yeah, yeah, attack. That's how I was trained. And I would like to make this, and if I die, the campaign is over. You know, this would add, for me, this would add an, another great aspect. Because imagine you, I'm, I'm playing and I'm, I'm participating in an attack in combat mission or in this game, and you're always thinking, oh, holy god damn, I hope I survived this. So a really good feature that you can rename you know, um, Feld, Feldwebel Aquila. Perfect. And you can see here top armor, um, what's the turret armor? No, what is red? Is that heat, def heat defense? I need to take a look. I don't know why, why this is red, why this is, mm, this is um, white. Is this for every unit, so? Do that. Felt we nothing, no. Yeah, whatever. Do the things also have this? Okay, white, white. So I think, yeah, I think the one is the hull, the other one is the, the, the turret. And I think the red means that there is something off with it. Perhaps it means um, that, is a, that it is a weak point or that it is, it isn't, it is partially covered. Um, that the, because it's an open, open vehicle. Yeah, here's the rank, but, but it's not displayed correctly. I don't think that's a set of Feldwebel in the, in the Wehrmacht. Or perhaps, I don't know. The, for To be honest, I don't know the Wehrmacht ranks. But it looks like an, um, some, some... Yeah, and um, what I wanted to say, the sprites and having more minimalistic graphics can aid gameplay. And if you look at the new, new games, they often struggle with content, they often struggle with features, but they often come with great graphics. Because I think um, for the, you know, most people, they hype trailers. If, if the trailer is great, the graphics are great, they go and um, a lot of people go and buy the game and um, argue later that the gameplay is bad because they didn't take a look at it. And I think this is a, this graphics, uh, this focus on graphics is a big problem for games and back then there weren't so much possibilities to do hyper graphics and I think this is also the reason why a lot of developers, not just indie developers but developers in general are returning to more simpler but still beautiful graphics. I don't think this looks ugly, you know, if sure if you play it the first time and if you see it the first time in the video say, oh holy Jesus, but um, if you play some missions, it's, it's beco it becomes organic, nat natural. You don't mind it anymore. You, you play the game and you don't think, oh, why is this building looking so, why is the tree looking so. You play uh, because you have fun. And um, sure, 
great graphics um, can be cool if you in combat mission watch your soldiers how they um, behave or the tanks I like, I like to watch the, t the tank models in combat mission but it's still also here great you can uh, uh, I'm pretty happy that they included a picture here Without the picture, it would be more abstract, and I wouldn't know how the vehicle looks. You know, my but if I see how the vehicle looks here, my my brain, my fantasy adds the, the rest, and and um, it's okay for me. It's it's pretty fine. So and let's zoom out again. I prefer the bigger view. Yeah, we wouldn't deploy much here. Perhaps the infantry you could deploy here. And um, let's check out some of the maps. Yeah, it's um, a map where you have to take objectives, and points are also often awarded for force preservation and for taking out enemies. Usual stuff, as usual war stuff. And what do you have? Um, rooster, go to next, go to rooster. Ah, oh, that's cool. I never checked this out. Yeah, of course, <laughs> I've tried to drag the screen, but it would be cool, but of course that's a luxury feature. Yeah, you have, can I directly select them here? Show height formation IDs. Ah, that's a feature of the game, I think, is that you can, uh, of the pay version, is that you can see, and I think it's pretty important uh, for force cohesion, you can see G, G1, G2, G3, etc. This means I would also like to have some sort of this vision in combat mission. Because sometimes it's difficult if you have bigger battles to keep the force co uh, co co cohesive. So you can see, but you can also disable them. Um, you can see who is belonging to whom. So these guys are one unit and uh, C2 command and control is us uh, com yeah command control command communications is also important in this game so for example if units um, drive along here over the map and the uh, command the, the leader platoon squad leader whatever is um, hiding in the woods here they will lose moral I've, I'm not sure um, they will be out of contact and this moral is also modeled in the game um, we will talk sh talk soon about it, and they will have less combat efficiency. Like I said, there are a lot of similar similarities between combat mission and this, because these features are important. They are re really important, and a lot of war games uh, strip them, command and control for cohesion, moral, um, moral consisting of psychological damage. You know, um, sustain uh, sustaining fire in this game puts stress onto you guys and they become problems you see here it's in contact ready uh, means they have they have um, C2 with the with the superior and it's important to manage this the Germans are of course very good trained and they perhaps better even without direct command but you know some units like Volksgrenade uh, like militia or whatever um, they are, aren't pretty effective if, they, if there's no uh, command present. Yeah, you can deactivate the hexes if you have a good eye for movement. You don't need this. Firing range. Okay, you can set, um, that's basically a firing arc if you don't want your unit to engage. What is this? Uh, here in, on this red line, I know it's a bit small, but on this red line, wait, when I zoom in, now it doesn't become bigger. You see the description, the the tooltip of the of the button I'm hovering because I I myself need to check them again. I I have videos on my channel if you want to check out, but um, I I played um, some WinSP MBT and World War Two. Um, you can go on my channel and there's um, magnifying glass um, and you can uh, search for the videos or go look uh, another youtuber there's one youtuber he's doing um, dynamic campaigns pretty good and um, yeah what is this button deploy entire formation 
does this mean? Okay, I press here and then I press. Oh, that's that's good. Okay, so if I select platoon leader and I select them here and then I press. That's great. Oh, okay, yeah, good. You see, uh, learning myself in a review because I hate to deploy every unit. The game. Uh, goes into a succeeding order, so if you deploy a unit, he goes to the next unit, and you can deploy pretty fast by simply clicking. But sometimes it's it's um, stressful to. I want, of course, to have the units together, especially infantry, so I can select the platoon leader, for example. They want to go into the town, and I will do he set them here and press this button. Yeah, okay, and it looks like they stay in in the original position. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, what is this? Um, what was this button here? Go to next formation. Yeah, you can go through the list, okay. But I wanted to check out the screen. Set movement waypoints. Okay. Ah, that's interesting. Wait. Man, I have I have a lot to learn about this game. I didn't knew that waypoints existed. I know you can press into them and they drive there, but this is... Holy moly, okay. And that's what I was looking for, because I hate to give them orders every round. They will engage. I don't know, can you set... Go to the formation HQ unit. Ah, they come... They co no, 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 wait. That's, that's not what I wanted. Clear all waypoints. Can I clear one waypoint? Okay, clear all waypoints. Um, I just want to check if I'm giving waypoints for all the formation. Uh, no, that's okay. A, B, C, D. Ah, okay, that's the the letters, I think. Oh. Okay, I need fix formation leader. Ah, okay, so you can make formation leader zero again, show height formation IDs. We already had show company details. Platoon, oh, okay, it's a really cross attached platoon. Place the platoon at a different company lead. Yeah, that's pretty good. I never checked out the screen, to be honest. It looks like a pretty important screen. Toggle to compute, no way. Okay. Five to five stars for this game. I didn't knew this. I didn't know this. You can set formations to computer control. Holy moly. God damn it. That's, I love this. So you can, of course, in this campaign, it's not viable, likely. But you can, I don't know, if in extremely big scenarios, you can choose your unit and the rest set to computer control. Let's see what they do. I'm pretty interested in how they will... Okay, I'm spoiling myself. But we will start another scenario. I want to see how... Uh, it's for me surprising. I didn't knew that this feature existed. Uh, I didn't read the manual, to be honest. And Holy Jesus, that's, that's a big thing for me. I like automation. I don't like if you have 100% automation, but I'm, I'm a guy who likes to watch stuff play out. You know, you, you are the big... You are the commander. And normally you give your orders and wait, what is when I combine a waypoint with AI control? Can you set up object? Okay, that's... What is it when I give AI control plus waypoint? Do the guys intelligently deploy? Uh, that would be too too great. Or that would be would be too awesome. Wait, when I... So, yeah, this. H is my new new favorite button. Command here, command link contact, reaction turn, reaction turn, reaction turn. What does this mean? Computer controlled. Look at the details. It's I love I I like the interface. It would be for me. It's okay. I like to see a lot of the map, 
but I guess for some for some dudes and girls, I think the 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 font size would be would be very borderline. Let's Schwimmwagen. We have a Schwimmwagen. Okay, where where's our Schwimmwagen here? No, that's another Schwimmwagen. Here, Schwimmwagen. So everybody who li likes Schwimmwagen, check out the next campaign. Uh, the next campaign playthrough, you will see some Schwimmwagen action. I think I will put it on the front lines. Okay, next unit, previous unit. These buttons are self-explaining. Find the current unit on the map. Okay, that's also good. Pre-planner bombardment, airborne or AOP spotter mission. I don't know what AOP means. A area of um, pff, no, no, don't know. Ah, okay. We have some. We indeed have some vehicles with granatwerfer. I think it's granite. This is uh, some sort of uh, some sort of mortar. And yeah, you similar to combat mission. You can now pre-plan your bombardments. Let's say we want to go to objective green or green. Okay, can we select more tiles? What is this button? Ah, you can also set in which turn. That's something that's pretty great. You can also do it in combat mission. You can delay um, bombardments pre. Uh, you can you can set up bombardments. But I, wait, I need to think. Can you delay them? I think so. You can delay them. Yes, it's the first screen. I didn't do this often because you most times you want to hammer them instantly. But let's say you are, you are a really hardcore commander. You know, okay, we have ten minutes for objective green. Or ten minutes of uh, ten turns for objective tur uh, green, and then we won't take ro road. And I don't want. I don't have spotters, so it's me. I want to bombard this after ten turns. You have this this um, possibility. Switch to spotters. Switch to airborne. Switch to artillery. You can even plan airborne operations. So if you have a big map, market garden style, you can plan. Okay, our tanks are starting to drive, and then in the in the late phases, we want to deploy um, airborne near them near the, the objective which is now not not the, not the, what's that for button press to shift fire okay let's adjust fire cancel okay smoke cancel bombardment or smoke mission Ach so, uh, okay i understand no 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 smoke mission bombard show data yeah, that's that looks like a motor. Yeah, I like the interface, really like the options, but I'm I I'm in, let, uh, will have to learn a lot in the first playthrough. I didn't do most of the stuff here. Good for me for myself um, to check out the screen and for the review and uh, to check out the, the the functions for the review because um, that will help me to play the game and to understand it more. Air entry and exit hidden displayed. What, what's that? Ah, okay. That's yes. If you one unique feature is um, if you have air units, um, combat close air support, power drops. You can decide. I don't know if you can decide, but it looks like you can. Uh, in entry exit we can entry from the left so the planes would come from here which doesn't make sense but why not perhaps it's why it doesn't it make sense if there is a good corridor for this if you believe most anti-air would be placed on the front line why not the, the bombers would fly some some over the flank bombard from from the behind and then exit uh, it's Possible, but we can also fly front frontally and exit. Oh, that's not possible. Okay, so there's some limitation. They can't fly a U-turn, which makes sense. It's a bombing run. Nobody would, no plane would fly a U-turn, um, such a narrow U-turn on on such a map, especially over enemy presence. 
man, there are a lot of features in this in in this in this um, game hidden. Pretty good features. So it uh, AA is a thing here in this game. So if there, are, um, let's say, you have a lot of AA here, you would probably do this here, yeah, bombard and get get the, get 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 away from um, through this corridor here. So okay, I wanted to set up a bombard mission. I was asking myself. Okay, there's a simple. Can I expand this or can I set a priority target hex? I know there is some sort where you can set up. Let's cancel it. Yes. Play perhaps with who's here. Why didn't cancel? Yes. Oh, it's, it's gone. There's a function I don't want to waste time now of 0, 0.0. Bombardment turn 0, okay. Party targets. Oh, okay. That looks like a. Program cancel. That. Let me already check this out. Cancel all program at artillery. One, two, three. Are you serious? That's pretty detailed. So, first strike here, second strike here, third strike here. Can set up complete. Programs here, yeah, like it's like it's, it tells us. Yeah, pretty detailed the artillery stuff. But you can also go basic. Simply select some ties and bump bump the hell out of it. I'm just looking for something easy. So if I want to bombard this town, if I simply Press here and I don't know. Create a uh, create a radius, a circle, a area, area fire. I'm looking for something because I want don't want to do this stuff here. So is there a way to select in this game? No, not yet. I'm pretty sure there is some function, but um, like I said, I don't want to spend the time. Is let's check the next button. We, yeah, load units onto vehicles. Of course, uh, you can ride on vehicles and assign current unit to a new HQ. Okay, um, you probably can say, let's say he, this guy, is lose the platoon lead. That's also something I miss in combat mission, but it's okay. It's not so important. There are more important stuff like getting the goddamn vehicle um, AI. I don't know. Give them some road ability. I, I would, I would kill for that. I lately had to play. Um, you can check it on my channel. I played the Market Garden campaign, and um, there you also command the British task force, and you have I don't know to get 20, 30 vehicles over a highway. Okay, it was it was okay. Some vehicles they were a bit dumb. They because there were wrecks on the street, they um, they diverted. And of course, they also, they diverted on the wrong side. Um, it drove right into mines. But sometimes, if you have streets like this, there are missions. I think, uh, yeah, in my Germany campaign, uh, I did a recent, what was it called, a winter campaign for Italy, for Italy, combat mission Italy. Yeah, and you have such roads, and you need to go here. The mission designer decided I need to exit my complete force. Don't do this. Do a, I don't know what um, touch objective and let us do it in the fantasy that we exit our force. But don't, please, don't give us 20, 30 vehicles, and uh, the ground conditions were bad, so we had to drive here. So and, and I had to set 20, 30 waypoints for the goddamn vehicles to get them out, and of course they get stuck and they 
tried you, you know the combat mission vehicle AI they turn and I don't know what they do and they drive into the mud and get stuck and then the next vehicle thinks oh I can do this also hold my beer and drives into I don't know into, into the uh, Elysium and I the, the vehicle AI you know before they do stuff like this please give them uh, I don't know road ability um, roads have special uh, special traits in this game so units for example infantry in combat mission I don't want to talk too much about combat mission but it's important for me if an infantry unit is standing here and here and you give him a fast movement order they take the street and something similar for vehicles that they I don't know road uh, road order if you have a vehicle here and you give a waypoint here he will stay on the road and move down there that would be I would be I would be grateful for that. So next button. Join up split crews and units. Okay, you can up you can split units here. I probably won't do this because the micromanaging probably gets heavier. But who knows? I will I want to try out this computer assist. I like automat automatization. Entrench all units. Okay, are they entrenched? Yeah, um, if you probably um, if you're defending or prior to a start of a mission, you can give your units the order to to dig in, duck duck in, dig in. Uh, I think it's probably set by the uh, scenario. It doesn't make much sense if we starting a counteroffensive. Hey guys, let's duck in. Uh, we need to move out in one minute. It doesn't make much sense. But if you're a defender, of course, the duck in button is important dug in all units okay what's the next Bi build minefield trenches barbed wire and dragon teeth yeah you see it's really detailed you can dragon teeth you can't can't add this now i think no but it doesn't make sense we need probably fortification points or something for that but it's really cool would be also great for combat mission to have some but it's not so important to have for defense force that you can set up your but it's not so important to get the goddamn vehicle movement improved yeah uh, v is an important battle uh, battle button show area visible visible vis Visible, vis visible. Is it a is it a word? I don't know. No, I think it should be mean visible. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, the V is uh, V V like Victor is a pretty important button because you can check the LOS with it. See, they're pretty limited. I don't know what's the time. Perhaps it's still dark. Because the map is also somewhat dark. Yeah, sometimes you need you need to watch out with the mouse. It's a bit. I often um, misclick, but there is a redo last. We will find it later. A redo last turn at least. I think it, every turn-based game needs at least. Of course, if I move into the city, and the the tank uncovers all enemy units. You can't. Um, redo your last turn, which is understandable, otherwise you could exploit it and uh, cheat and see, oh, okay, there are some tanks, let's redo the turn, I, I reconsider my approach. So um, as long you don't discover units, you, you're okay. But with the clicking, uh, there's some stuff, if you misclick, okay, it's not so easy to misclick, but you want to click into the terrain, you need to, yeah, right click is unit, unit um, orientation that's okay but left click you have to watch out if you for example want to left click this unit and you miss you play um, you give an order perhaps there's a okay I need to check out the hotkeys there are a lot of hotkeys I'm pretty sure there's some some convenient some clears um, you can clear the map from um, from the last from your last um, LOS check. For example, um, this is very practical, I like this. 
For example, you check out um, this unit here. What has it for LOS? Okay, it can see the street here. I can move G4 up to this. In ma many games, if you change a unit, you change the LOS and you need to keep memory. It's okay. Of course, it's okay. But here you can co um, continue without needing to change. That's 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 a cool screen I see already. So we had this zoom the map already. Okay, clear dark hexes. Go to the unit ro rooster, 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 roasting. Um, I also like this screen again. Would love to have something like this for combat mission because sometimes I have no idea what my core force consists of, and I think it should be. Th that's an important feature. Imagine you can start a mission and you can press this um, combat mission here in the menu. And click unit rooster and you see all your available units and for example see units I'm not sure if this is modeled here because we are in the starting who got destroyed or killed of your core force it would be really add to immersion and it's quite realistic because you wanted to, you uh, a commander would um, would keep track of his units and you can see Experience, experience is modeled in the game. Moral is modeled in the game. I think it raises also with 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 um, missions. Yeah, of it raises because if we finish a mission, you will get a screen where it stands one uh, a unit received experience unit. I don't know became veteran whatever. Uh, that's pretty good. I love this because it adds a lot to 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 care for your unit. Movement. Shots, six of six, I think this means. Six shots available of six. Suppression, uh, how, how much suppression the unit is suffering. I don't know why the SMG group is suffering suppression. Probably I pr pressed too often on the head. AP, anti, AP, action points, okay. Damage, experience. Okay, cool. Yeah, pretty cool screen. What's that? Weapons Encyclopedia. Yeah. That's also cool that you can access it from the game. Love this, you know, you can encounter a unit and you say what the heck is this unit? And you you are you are very you are very um, eager commander and you're always carrying a a bible of weapons. Perhaps you shouldn't mention religion together with weapons. Uh, you carry a, a weapons, um, yeah, Bible. I don't have another word. I take Bible, weapons Bible with you, and okay, you have also even even turrets, just the turrets. Yeah, we also have this in combat mission, but Jesus. And you can check for the weapons. Still need to learn how to use this filter. Current date. Don't understand this sort type here. Unit type. Sort on unit type, unit class. What's the difference between classes and type? Class and type, what's the difference? Ah, that's a button. I think set defaults is um, revert everything, but I think it's unit class, current date, and then you have to press this here. Uh, okay, now our tanks. Stuks, that's pretty good. Way better. Artillery, infantry, whatever. That's also pretty um, convenient um, function. I love this function. Again, would love to see it for other games. If you, for example, you finished your assault on object, object green, object. Ah, okay. Something, some German, some strange German translation. Object green, but you can call it that way. And um, you have your half tracks here, and the infantry I cleared it out. And you press this button, uh, but I, I think it's not a available in the in the game. It's it's just available in 
and you see all units you have to watch out you may get units uh, into the wrong vehicles and not in the uh, vehicles that belong to the to the formation but it's still a pretty great feature I don't know if it's uh, available in 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 the battle in the battle it would be great to press this and all units move automatically to the um, nearest vehicle you know you don't need to give 20 waypoints load 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 um, and combat missions also if you're done with an assault and you want to get the guys back into the vehicles it's sometimes you have to click on every vehicle i would love to have some convenience feature where you press a button and uh, you select units and then you press load uh, or the go to the nearest vehicle uh, um, mount the nearest vehicle mount mount would be a button you could call mount um, and they go automatically to, to the next APC. I would love this. Quit deployment menu, go to the head screen, uh, some manual, but you also have a, a sophisticated manual. Set firing range you already had and go to the save menu, set formation rally hex, what's that? What does this mean? Okay. Perhaps this means <coughs> If the units route, they will go to the hex. I'm not sure. Rally hex. Yeah, probably. Or do they move into this hex? We have to check out a lot of stuff. Yeah, but now we want to do, but not in this. Um, not in this playthrough. I want to check out how the AI plays. Let's do an AI versus AI. Okay. Iwo Jima, Stalingrad factories. That sounds difficult for the AI. I think um, mount operations. But something with tanks. Kursk. One of the biggest tank battles. Yeah, don't read it. Perhaps I want to play it someday. Start. That looks tanky. And done. Done, done, done. Uh, quit deploy. We want just to see how they uh, and start turn. Yeah, holy Jesus, uh, that's okay. It's manageable, but you know, for me, it would be too much to do this all units on 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 my own. I don't know. It looks pretty tough, um, too tedious. Ah, okay, so we can check out um, because you have other buttons in in the battle, but first. I hope I still can set this button here. Or is it gone? Do I need to set up in the battle? Can I? Is it not allowed to set up a tiller, um To set up um, headquarters menu? Yeah, that that's that's called differently. Okay. AI 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 AI. AI, AI okay. So, who is this guy? No, that's some, no. Ah, okay, this guy commands some tigers, two tigers, four tigers. Let's give him a movement command. I want to see if, if AI and waypoints can be combined. And how is how does this work? So, okay, no, that doesn't look good. Okay, let's, let's, um, Delta. Delta is our waypoint guy. I want to see what he does. If he decides on it all on its own, okay. Okay, we have all on AI command. Yeah, let's check out if there are new reduce suppression of current unit. Why reduce? May not really if suppression is less than two. Ah, okay, that's perhaps something has something to do with the rally point. So you can set up, I don't know, commander approaches a unit and says, guys, if it gets too hot, come here to the rally point behind the factory. Yeah, and then you can give them the order. I'm not sure exactly what reduced suppression means. It sounds pretty convenient. Fire weapons. You can manually fire weapons at locations, similar to combat mission. If you know there are probably guys in this building, you can 
blow the, blow the hell out of it. And now that's fire website current target. You select a target and press this. I guess all weapons, all weapon systems that are in range of this enemy unit will start firing. So you can, it's a convenience feature. You don't need to select everybody and to check out can he attack the tank, whatever. Set direct fire to target. I set direct fire target for current unit. Okay, yeah, that's probably a target priority. And that's um, area fire, what I was, uh, what you also have in combat mission, you can fire um, at buildings, at suspected enemy locations, even if you don't see them. Spotting is similar to combat mission, we will see it. Um, spotting, you don't see the units, and if they are out of vision, they will, they will um, disappear, I think. Okay, everything else looks looks um, same. Let's see what happens if with with complete AI control. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. You don't see them moving. Do I, I need, do I need to set this? Message delay. So animation level four is it too high or okay. Ooh. okay? Yeah, there's a reason why I turn it off. I don't like um, battle ethics if it's so so prominent. I also have the tendency to remove it from my combat mission because sometimes you have scenarios where you um, sneak. Okay, in Kursk it's very believable that there is a um, battle going going around. Hmm. These guys, they're moving out, but there's not much happening. Perhaps complete AI control isn't a good idea. Some tanks are doing nothing. Perhaps they need waypoints because our Dora guys, they are moving. Looks like they're doing something. I don't know why this guy is here moving out because they, their half tracks are... I don't think it's the best idea to move the half tracks in front. And these guys here, they're doing nothing. Ah, okay, it's artillery. Is this an armor carrier? Okay. That's not combat units. But these guys definitely are, why they are not moving. What is this here? Okay. Yeah, let's give them a waypoint. C, D, D is yellow, why? Ah, that means probably not in contact. So, um, what was the unit? Um, D, E has four tigers. Let's give E a waypoint. They already have waypoints. No. Oh, okay, they have fail points. I don't know why they have fail points, but okay. It looks like it's it's important to give the units fail points. Otherwise, they won't do much. At least I, I believe I suspect it. Which is quite understandable. Without fail points, it would be. A huge task for the AI to determine where to move out. Um, how much tanks do I need to send to this objective? How much tanks do I need to send to this objective? You know, US player, you can tell. Okay, 
this objective here um, there won't be much they won't have a big tank force here probably the main thrust or the main defense is somewhere here but the AI has not much ability to to say to, to tell this without cheating uh, because of course if he knows who where the enemy tanks are um, he could divert forces according to this but it would be would be some sort of cheating so I think it's okay if you need to use waypoints alongside um, AI control it's completely fine for me the one thing that is important for me is that the guys behave some sort of uh, in a in a believable way so if they have and if they encounter Soviet, Soviet tanks here that they don't start to rush them um, until they die I have a bit of fear that they will do this and I don't know why there is why he's not showing us the movement of the perhaps because we are not in contact okay you see stuff is happening now so it's normally you see units moving I, I will manual command a unit so you can see it's not like this you know if this complete game would be like this it would be quite boring <laughs> See that's DB3 uh, bombing the rail rail line looks like uh, the white circle you see here it's enabled by me you can disable it the white circle shows um, the area of um, shrapnel or explosive it doesn't mean that a unit that's standing here will get destroyed but it gets suppressed damaged whatever just activated it so to get an idea how <laughs> okay. and we need to race again the animation speed otherwise you see it takes a bit bit of time um, but it's unusual to see airstrikes like this in the beginning but yeah, quite interesting. But that's the normal way of, of combat. You you see how the units engage each other. You see the shells flying. Uh oh, D1 got hit by splinters, but no, but no effect. It's a tiger. And there's smoke generated in the battlefield uh, because of the explosions. That's also quite a nice feature. Air Force into the, into the game.
normally it looks like it takes quite a while. Um, normally the rounds are faster. Um, initial airstrikes like this are seldom, I think. And we will set up the animation speed. And as you saw, the buildings can be destroyed and fires can start. Also, a pretty unique feature if you throw bombs into the into the woods, there can be fire spreading. I think there also are uh, in Vin SP MBT there are vi Vietnam uh, Vietnam missions you can drop napalm and burn burn complete woods, complete forests. Uh. I think it's best a bit over the top to show us uh, planes, how they're bombing some railroads. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. Um, neither, neither it is interesting, but okay, it's over. So set the animation speed aga up again to the max level. Battle effects is off. Yeah, the, uh, and the ricochet sounds is, you heard when, when a tiger got hit by splinters. I need to replace it. It sounds like some, from some old Western movie. Um, the sounds are completely moddable. I need to check out if there's some sound mod. Um, some sounds uh, sound a bit dated. And um, I'm pretty sure that you, with some renaming you can take sounds of your combat mission folder or, um, or HQS mod or whatever. Fast artillery, let's activate this also. Exit. Okay. Um, yeah, I wanted to take human control of at least one unit to show how the movement is looking. So, this is the movement range, and if you press, they move out. And then you can also control the direction. Okay, we need show IDs. What button was it for show IDs? forgot it. So you can see all IDs, I don't see all IDs. Okay. There was a button that you can see all ID numbers, it's for me easier to see who is who. Yeah, the, you can see units that belong to one and did our tank get this? No, he's here in the, in the smoke. <laughs> I think it, um, they should show the AI turns also. It's a bit. Do you guys still have a waypoint? They have, okay. But they should show these movements also. Perhaps there's a setting, I don't know. Replay last player's turn. Okay, that's also interesting. You have a replay function, looks like. A AI tank heavy. Okay. Ah, here you can set stuff on training. Uh, you can set um, artillery spotters on off. Okay. Some plane passed by. Let's push to contact. I 
I want to show you some of the combat. Oh, okay, now I quit for... Um, I don't know why I did this, but I somehow quit. <laughs> okay, yeah, but it's okay. I will do a battle soon about it, and then we can... You can see some of the combat. No need to waste time now with driving the tanks. It's a pretty big scenario where you have to drive a lot around. But um, you will see some of the combat in, in, in my playthrough. Okay, uh, The next part will cover WinSP MBT. Um, it will be quite short. I won't cover the stuff again. So um, take both reviews into one. And I will make a small break and then return.